Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I used the Bugs and Kisses stamp set from Lawn Fawn as well as the coordinating dies. And I first started out by stamping the mason jar on some Nina Solar White cardstock in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I used this Memento ink because I colored the image with Copic markers and I didn't want any of the stamping to smear or smudge and Memento ink works really well with Copic markers. I stamped three bugs from the stamp set and one of the bugs didn't stamp completely solid so I did take a Copic multi-liner in the 0.3 weight and just went over those lines to darken them to make sure it looked okay. Then I took the matching die that matches the jar set and I lined it up over that stamped image, held it in place with some post-it tape and ran it through my die cutting machine. And now I'm going to do some Copic coloring and I sped up the video and turned on some music for you to listen to. After all of the coloring was done, I prepped some vellum cardstock with my EK Success powder tool, and then I stamped the sentiment Bugs and Kisses in Versamark ink, coated it with Hero Arts white embossing powder, and then heat set that with my heat tool until it was completely melted. I also trimmed down that greeting. I then took this cardstock here. This is Basil Taffy cardstock, and it is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using the Swiss Dots stamp set from My Favorite Things. I inked it up in Versamark ink, and then I pressed that Taffy cardstock down onto the stamp. This is going to create the background of my card, and I'm going to be using some embossing powder on top, so I needed to make sure that the cardstock was prepped before I stamped the background stamp. So I'm pressing the cardstock down onto the background stamp. This just makes it a little bit easier to get a good impression over the entire surface. And I also don't have to worry about mounting the stamp set. So I have all those dots. And the next thing I did was I took some WOW embossing powder. This embossing powder is really, really pretty. It has a shimmer to it and some glittery bits and it sparkles and shines. It's a really, really subtle shine, especially used in such a small area like these polka dots. The polka dots are very, very small, so it's just a, it's a very subtle shimmer once everything is embossed. So I shook off the excess and then I took my heat tool and heat set that until it was completely melted. And it was easy to tell when all of the dots were melted because they became clear, but with a little bit of glitter shine on top. I then took the Thank You Heart die set from Simon Says Stamp. It has two hearts. It has the heart that says thanks and then a solid heart. I took the solid heart and cut some Schoolhouse Red cardstock just because I needed a nice red heart for this card. I then took this background stamp from Hero Arts and I inked it up with some Versamark ink and then pressed that red heart down onto the stamp. I'm going to be doing some embossing on this piece as well 
and I just wanted to make sure that I had a really good impression. So then I took some clear embossing powder, and this time I'm using some Ranger Ultra Fine Clear embo Embossing Powder. I just coated that stamping and then heat set that with my heat tool once again. And this creates a great texture to go on the heart. Put some foam adhesive on the back of the heart and then adhered that down onto the polka dot piece. I did trim down that polka dot piece so that it is five inches long and three and three quarters tall. I then took the vellum bugs and kisses piece and trimmed off the end. And I put a little bit of adhesive right on the end of that little banner and adhered that down onto the red heart. The mason jar of bugs is going to go on top and I did end up putting some foam tape on top and adhering it all together, but I will be taking that off for an additional step here in just a minute. The card base I'm using today is some 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm scoring, I scored it at four and a half so that it created a top folding card. Or actually, this is going to be a side folding card, but it is landscape. I put some adhesive directly on the back of that taffy piece because I wanted it to sit directly onto the card base and just adhered that down. I did have to trim off one end to get it completely centered. I then took a Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen and added some glitter on the dragonfly's wings, or I guess it could be butterfly, the ladybug, and also onto the wings of the bumblebee. And at this point, I wanted to have the entire jar be shiny, and I thought about using glossy accents, but then I decided that it would be easier just to coat the entire mason jar with clear embossing powder. So I took that off the card, and luckily it peeled up without any problem. I pressed that mason jar piece onto my Versamark pad, and then coated the entire die cut piece with clear embossing powder. I'm going to do three layers of embossing powder, so the minute it's melted, I'm going to set my heat tool down quickly, pick up that spoon, and spoon on more embossing powder. As long as the embossing powder is still warm and it hasn't completely cooled, the new embossing powder, the, the dry embossing powder, won't. Uh, it will stick. So it's a perfect way to do this if you're fast. So I'm going to set the heat tool down and pick up that clear embossing powder and do a third coat of clear embossing powder. This is going to give the entire mason jar a nice clear finish. It's going to make it look like it's glass. I thought it was a really cool effect, especially over top of the mason jar. And then I'm going to adhere it back down onto the card and put it directly over that banner shape that I previously, previously adhered. So I'm just putting it back in the same spot. So that completes the card for today. It uh, looks like a really simple card, but it's deceptively simple. There's quite a few steps to it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card video. Just a reminder that all of the supplies used on this card are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for a new video. Thanks for watching. On screen right now are links to my three most recent card videos, so go ahead and click on those if you'd like some more card inspiration. You can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com, and you can catch me on social media at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for subscribing as well. I will catch you guys in the next card video.